Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. I mean, not really that it matters. My channel isn't that famous yet. But, um, I'm just gonna do a little comparison video. Uh, these are my two pro preferreds. My babies. I love these things. Uh, funny thing with this is, uh, when I ordered these, I made them custom. I mean, you can't see my name because I blacked it out right now for the video, but... This glove was supposed to look like this, but they messed it up and it came out like this, but I mean, hey, it's a pro preferred. I got a half price, so that's not bad. Um, but this is the one that I'm using. I'm trying to break it in still. See, it's a little stiff. I don't know if you can hear it too, it still squeaks. But, um... I got the mocha colorway with the uh, chocolate laces. I think it's probably the best color combination Rawlings has. Um, the only other color options I like is the is the cream colored. I like that. I'd probably do a cream with chocolate laces next time. But yeah, it's a good glove. Um, if you're debating about either getting a Pro Preferred or a, a Heart of the Hide, I mean, if you really have the extra money, just go get the Pro Preferred. Don't even waste your money. I mean, Heart of the Hide's a great gloves too, but I just feel like for an extra $100, you get kip leather, sheepskin lining, better laces. It's just better quality, everything. Um... Here's a ball in the glove. It's still super stiff. I mean, barely. It doesn't really close much. You could see if I drop it. It doesn't even do anything. Um, but yeah. And uh, it, it, they're just great gloves. You know, I mean, I wouldn't really use anything else. There's no question why professionals use this. They're just phenomenal gloves. The, um, the inserts are extremely stiff. I mean, on the thumb and the pinky, they're super stiff. I'm not going to flare it. I'm just going to leave it like that. This is the way it came. The glove, you could see this one. I haven't even touched this one. You could tell like the finger pad's not even bent down or anything. That's just the way it comes. I feel like they have great shapes already out of the package. Um, this is my, my heart of the hide. You know, this one's definitely broken in. Close all the way around the ball. Great glove too. I mean, if you don't have that extra money to spend and pro prefer, then there's nothing wrong with a heart of the hide. They're phenomenal gloves. You know, they feel comfortable. This one is, this one has the deer tanned cowhide in it. And it's in great shape. There's no cracking in it. No problems with it at all. Inside's great condition. The lettering and everything is all there. You can see everything. U.S. Steer Hide. This one is oil treated leather. Wait for it to focus. Okay. Yeah, oil treated leather. It's great. I mean, if you even had to pick between Rawlings or Wilson, in my opinion, I don't think I would spend two twenty or three fifty on a Wilson. I mean. Not saying that they have bad gloves, but I just feel like Rawlings are more sturdier, nicer gloves. You know, I, I, I was actually fortunate enough to um, go to my local sporting goods store, and they had like Wilson Glove Day in there. It was crazy. With all of Wilson's new 2015 line gloves, and I saw every single glove from the 2015 uh, glove collection, and... Nothing compares to 
the Pro Preferreds, even the A2Ks. In my opinion, I'd rather buy a Heart of the Hide than the A2K. That's just me. Um, but uh, that's personal preference, really. It depends what you like. I got the two Pro Preferreds are both 11 and 3 quarter inch. See that right there? Yeah, let me show you on this one. You can probably see the gold writing better. 11 and 3 quarters. Right there. Um, use these at third base. Pitching, I really don't care about. Um, I am a pitcher, but I don't have personal preference with like any of the webs. To me, it doesn't make a difference because it's not like I'm showing the ball really. It doesn't make a difference to me. I've pitched with eye webs and whatever. But um, yeah, they're great gloves. If you have the money, definitely buy one. No reason why you shouldn't. If you're a serious ball player. Uh, I've had these for about six months now. And six months of playing in the summer is just just starting to get this broken in. This one doesn't even have... I really don't even put my hand in this one. I don't think I have it all. There's no marks even really. This thing is just stiff. Look at that. That's it. That's all you're going to get. My hand's not even floating in there. It's not even stretched out to fit my hand. And that sheepskin lining, that batard sheepskin lining is amazing. That feels so nice in there. It's, not, it's like you don't even want to take the glove off. That's how nice it feels. So I feel like why would you spend, you know, 350 for an A2K when it's just pretty much the same leather as a heart of the hide? I mean, it's U.S. steer hide outside and inside of the glove. So if you're really going to spend 350 just get a pro preferred. You got Kip leather, 100-pound tensile strength laces, uh, sheepskin lining. <laughs> You get the real fur on the wrist. It's just so much better. I mean, the only things that I do like about Wilson's is the dual welding. I think that looks cool. And on the A2K, maybe the finger stripe, and the thumb stripe. But that's really about it. Oh, and the MLB logo. I think that's nice. I think if maybe Rawlings did the MLB logo, I think that'd be pretty cool. I put the MLB logo right there. That'd be real nice. That'd be cool. Nice touch. But yeah. That's really my opinion. On things. So don't leave me comments or anything. Saying, oh, Rolling Sock. Wilson's so much better. I know some people are diehard Wilson fans. I get it. I'm not bad mouthing Wilson. I think they're great. They definitely make quality gloves too. But in my opinion, I like a thicker leather, a thicker glove, a more stiffer glove. And I think Wilson's are more more softer and more thinner in the leather and the padding. And I, in my opinion, I just like rolling. So, I mean, it doesn't mean that I wouldn't get a Wilson. I would. But anyway, enough of my rambling. Uh, if you like what you saw... Like, subscribe, try to get some publicity on this channel. Oh, and uh, if anybody lives in Brooklyn, Sports Fever, yeah, they're great. They're phenomenal. Great group of guys, know their stuff about baseball. They've been playing since they're four years old. They're on Avenue U in Brooklyn. Phenomenal guys. You know, they're, they're accommodating... You name it, they're just the best. Alright, thanks for watching.